In this video, I show you how to add captions and subtitles to YouTube Shorts. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my phone, but just to make it clear, this guide is going to work on all different types of devices, iOS, Android, and even computer. The software or app I'm showing you is going to work on computer and mobile and tablets as well. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up the App Store or Play Store, depending on what you're using. And you need to go and search for an app called CapCut literally C-A-P-C-U-T. Now, if you're using a computer, you can also go to capcut.com and go and use the free online video editor, but it's probably easier to do it on your phone in this guide because that is what I'm showing you. So here it is, go and download it. Now, just before we get any further, you need to have your video ready, which you want to go and add subtitles to. So in my case, I've already gone and recorded a video on my phone, which I want to go and add subtitles to. But if you've got a video, say, on your computer, I recommend just transferring it to your phone just so you can follow along with this guide. So once you've gone and got the video um, edited or even just a plain video in your camera roll, then we can go and get into this. So go and tap on CapCut and then press new project. And then your camera roll will open and you will need to give it permission. And then you can go and select the videos which you want to go and add to your CapCut project to go and add subtitles and captions too. So in this case, I want to go and add this one. You can go and add multiple videos as well if you want to sort of stitch some videos together and add subtitles to them. So I've gone and select that video there. Then I'll go and tap add in the bottom right like so. And it's now loading and here it is. So you can now go and play back this video and go and you know listen to what you say. But let's get right into adding these subtitles and captions. So what you need to do is make sure you haven't selected the video. I have, so I need to go and press the back button in the bottom left like so, so nothing is selected. Then what you need to do is make sure your cursor is at the start of the video like so, I can't go any further back or forward. Then go and tap text like so. Then what you need to do is just tap on auto captions like this. Now we've got this create auto captions menu open. And what you need to do is literally go and press on start. You don't need to change these settings here. Just press start like so. And as you can see, it now says creating auto captions. This is going to go and take longer, the longer the video is because it obviously has to go and create more captions. Now, if I go and play it back, as you can see, we can now go and see the captions and subtitles appearing. However, you may be thinking they look quite basic. And don't worry because we can fully edit these to make these look really good. So let's go and pause this and go back to the start. And what you need to do is go and select any of the captions or the text, I should say, just like so. And once you selected one of them, we then have this option in the bottom left for batch edit. I recommend using the batch edit tool because then we can go and apply all of the effects to all of the subtitles in this video. So go and press batch edit just like that. Then what we need to do is go and press on select on the left hand side and then go and press select all. And then in the on the right hand side in the bottom, it says edit, so press edit. Then as you can see, we've got a few different options now. So firstly, we can go and choose our font. So I'm just gonna go and choose a nice bold font. In this case, classic two looks really nice. Then we want to go along to style. So as you can see to the right of font of this sort of carousel of options, we've got style, so tap there. Then this is where we can fully go and add like a lot of effects to the text. So at the top, we've got all these different effects we could try out, for example, this one here. But in this case, I'm gonna go and keep it just clear. So to clear any effect you put on, just press that remove button on the left-hand side. Then if we scroll down, we can go and choose the color of the text. As you can see, text is like the green color on the left-hand side, so we can then go and choose a color. I want it to be white, personally. Then we can go and choose a stroke, and the stroke is the outline of the text. We could have a black outline if you'd like. I wanna keep that clear by clicking that clear button, though. Then you can add a canvas. In my case, I really like to add a shadow. So I'll tap on shadow, I'll tap on a black shadow like so. And then what you can do is scroll down further down this page here, and you can go and choose your opacity, the blur, the distance, the angle, a lot of things you can go and customize. I might just increase the blur a little bit, and you can also go and choose the angle as well, just like that. And once you've done that, we can then scroll back up again and we can go and switch to spacing. So spacing is going to go and make the text a little bit bigger. But do be careful of making it too big because otherwise some text with like longer sentences are going to be cut off. Then you can also go and use the bold and italic tools if you like as well. And now let's go to the next section, which is the effects. So to the right of style, we've got effects. Click there. You can then go and choose these if you like the look of them. And then to the right of effects, we've got animation. So you can go and choose how text comes in and goes out. So at the minute, in is selected, as you can see. So you may want text to pop up every time. So I might choose that option. And then we can go and choose what how text sort of leaves the screen as well. So you can have like a blur or a fade out, depending on what you want. Then at the bottom, you can also go and adjust how long you want the sort of animation to be, I guess. So I'm gonna want it quite short like that. And you can go and choose the outro as well. Then once you're happy with it, you can then go and press on the tick just like so. And you can then press the tick again. And we can now go and play it back and go and check out these subtitles that we've just gone and created. And I wanna make it clear as well, you can also go and make these bigger as well. So all you need to do is go and tap on the text on the actual video, just like this. And when you go and tap it on the actual video, we then get this white box and you can go and pinch it if you wanna make it smaller or bigger. As I said, you need to adjust this for a one by one 
because each sentence is going to be longer or shorter. So play the video back and make sure the text is always on the screen and that there's no typos. As you can see in this case, it goes off the screen. So I'm just going to go and tap on it on the, on the actual video in the preview screen and then pinch it. I can then go and adjust it so it's all on the screen just like that. And if you see a typo on them, then all you need to do is go and tap on it on the video preview once again, again, and then go and tap on that pen tool in the top right of the this sort of box, I guess you could call it, tap there. And then what we can do is go and remove things. So I might go and remove the um, I just think it looks a bit unprofessional. And then I can go and press the tick and that's it. So that's how you can remove words or you know fix a typo or whatever you want to do with it. So when once you're happy with it and you then want to go and post onto YouTube Shorts, go and press on the export button in the top right of CapCut. It's got an arrow facing upwards just like this and it's now gonna go and start exporting. So just leave your phone on, it shouldn't take too long. The time this takes is gonna vary depending on the size of the video. As you can see, it's now finished and it's gonna be added to your camera roll. So you can close off of CapCut and we can now go and open up YouTube. And then all you need to do is tap on the plus button at the bottom of YouTube and then go and press on create a short like this. And then here I am and all you want to do is press add in the bottom left like so. And I'll go and I'll go and choose the video which I want to upload onto YouTube or then press done. And here it is, we can now play it back. And as you can see, we've got our subtitles. So I'll then press done in the bottom right and it's now loading. Then I'll go and press on the tick in the bottom right like so. And here it is, I can also go and add more sounds, text, voice, so there's filters and things like that. I'm gonna go and press next and it's all ready to go and be published onto YouTube with subtitles. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.